Nathan, some extraordinarily weasel words here employed to discuss the spectrum of online behaviour from the criminal to the merely risky. Well, a slightly mm. loaded question there, Simon, well, <laughs> statement, but it is the Guardian and it is the EU. So, yes, yeah. risky online behaviour, almost normalised among young people, study says. <laughs> I know, so no weird, one knows what it? any of this means. But this, this is clearly the EU. So it's a study done, it's, it's, a, it's the UEL, University of East London, mm. but funded by the EU, oh, which basically boom. says... Which says, well, I'll explain why it uh, is a big boon in a minute, but it basically explains why people do bad things online, but it ends up including virtually everything like looking at pornographic material, oh. posting hate speech. Oh, I mean, trolling. Very loose that's definition. That's, your, that's your Monday morning. <laughs> exactly. Banter, exactly. You choose the, is the hate speech. But yeah, it's, it's, I mean, so, and by the way, it, we still won this. The UK won. They, did a, 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 they went through criminal and non-criminal but risky behaviour. No one knows what it means. But the UK was the bottom at 58% and Spain was the worst at 75 wow. So whatever this is, we, still, we still won. But here's my problem. The EU recently has tried to ban or threatened to ban Twitter. They're threatening Elon Musk already. They hate free speech. They obviously want to use studies like this to justify it. They justify it in terms of safety, but it's yep. about banning free speech and being yep. a, an authoritarian dictatorship. But, and also, just briefly, they mentioned the online safety bill. Someone here is saying it's a good thing. But the online safety bill is flawed as well. It, it's, it's still going to be a big problem. They've left Section 127 in, which allows people like Dankula to be prosecuted. So I'm very sceptical of the online safety bill But as I was well. very... I personally was sceptical to the headline stuff, that they were, as you say, there were things that were, I think, perfectly normal, if slightly kind of laddish behaviour. I think looking at online pornography, I suspect they've massively underestimated the amount of people who yeah, actually yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah when they said it's 58%... Yeah, right. Yeah. Not 58% of... <laughs> men. Yeah. What are you talking about? Teenage boys? I can't imagine. I mean, I, I, you know, the, the lengths we used to have to go to and were prepared to go to in order to get to pornography, you know. Literally, you'd be in a kind of forest. Travelling yeah, exactly. <laughs> travelling to France. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> go on a French exchange. Belgian service station. Yeah. Uh, on a, like on a Saturday night. Right. Are you finished with that, sir? <laughs> <laughs> but also, the, this whole thing, I mean, I don't know what they mean by trolling. I mean, that's one of those words that means different things. Things. Celebrities think of it as just being uh, as. Uh, I think there actually is a serious thing. As a teenage, as a, a parent of a teenager yeah. uh, who doesn't participate in this, but there is a lot of issues at their school. Which is what undermining confidence. That's yeah, people like with in WhatsApp groups and sort of talking. So what we would call trolling, yeah. which is what you know I'll get in a bit. Uh, when I'm on the taxi home, uh, is is there? You know, there there is bullying. There's online bullying, and and you're sensitive, and you're yeah. But at the root of it is a war for the internet. The, it, we've got a war for the internet. The EU wants to control it. The, you know, people like the Democrats, whoever. Whereas people like Elon Musk want it to be free. And this is the this is the coming yes. war. Yes, the coming war. That should be the new 